Shalom, I want to give all praises, honors, and glories to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem Rakakudash, and the ones of the apostles and others who are most known in salutations to the hopeful elect. This is your brother, I am Nawahala from Jim in Chicago, and uh, um, this is a uh, this is, uh, you know, as you can see here uh, on the screen, you know, uh, you have NATO announcing that they have uh, declared, well, really, they, uh, they're doing their um, their exercise, supposedly, called Steadfast Defender 2024. And um, you have uh, NATO members, all right, you have uh, these, these, uh, NATO countries, all right, they're doing these uh, exercises, all right, about, well, like 90,000 troops, all right, uh, I think, but nonetheless, you know, I'm just playing the video so you guys can see for yourselves. Uh, exercise Steadfast Defender 2024, which commences next week and runs through May. Steadfast Defender 24 will be the largest NATO exercise in decades with participation from approximately 90,000 forces from all 31 allies plus our good partner Sweden. The alliance will demonstrate its ability to reinforce the Euro-Atlantic area via transatlantic movement of forces from North America. This reinforcement will occur during a simulated emerging conflict scenario against a near peer adversary. <coughs> 24 will be a clear demonstration of our unity, our strength, and our determination to protect each other, to protect, of course, our values and the rules-based international order. And, um, you know, you have, uh, you know, you have these, uh, nations, or, you know, these, uh, NATO nations, and you have these, uh, these BRICS nations, you know, they're, they're, they're doing their exercises, they're doing their training, of course, and, they're just not doing that for no reason, you know. Ultimately, you know, this is going. To, this is going to. Well, we're we're already in the beginning stages of World War Three, but we're just not at the end of it just yet. All right, but nonetheless, you know, these nations are not. Uh, are not are uh, preparing for for war for no reason. All right, you know, uh, these, these nations they're. they're they're getting ready for for war, like for for real. You need to have water. You need to have uh, a, a radio on batteries, and you need to have a, a, a flashlight on on batteries to make sure that you can survive the first thirty six hours. Things like that. That's simple things, but it starts there. The the realization that not everything is planable. Not everything is going to be honky-dory in the next 20 years. I'm not saying it is going wrong tomorrow, but we have to realize it's not a given that we are in peace. And that's why we have the plans. That's why we are preparing for a conflict with, uh, uh, with Russia and the terror groups. If it comes to it, if they attack us, we're not seeking any conflict. But if they attack us, we have to be ready. So apparently there's been reports of people panic buying radios in Sweden. Well, yeah, you know, these, these nations, they're, they're gearing up for war, right? And, uh, you know, it's in the scriptures too, right? It's all according to prophecy. And we'll bring out Matthew chapter 24, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And we're hearing of rumors of wars so far. And, you know, uh, there's going to be more more wars that are going to happen as well. But the end is not yet because the MLTB has to be fulfilled. You know, the prophecy of the MLTB has to be, um, has to come to pass first. Verse 7, for nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these things are beginning of sorrows. They, and yeah, you know, these are the, the, the signs that we have to look out for, all right, because we're at the end, all right.
you know, these prophecies is what we have to look out for, right? And that's how we know that, you know, our salvation is nearer than what we believe. Revelations 11 and 14. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. And, and we're seeing that right now, right? Because these nations are are gearing up, gearing up for war, right? They're doing their exercises, is what they say. Actually, we'll bring out Revelation the 13th chapter first. Well, before World War Three becomes nuclear, you know, the MOTB has to be fulfilled. Revelation 13, verse 16. He causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, from your bond to receive a mark in the right hand or in the forehead. That no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And yeah, you know that 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 mar the karagma is ultimately speaking about the RFID microchip. All right, in order for you to to buy food and to uh, live in society, you're gonna have to take that C hip. Otherwise, uh, you know you get your heads cut off. But yeah, you know this this uh, prophecy right here is literally speaking about the C hip. Revelations chapter 14 verse 10 and you know we do know that if you do take the see it there's going to be a punishment uh, for it right there's going to be a consequence for taking the see it Revelations 14 and 10 uh, verse 9 and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice if any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand the same shall drink of the wine of the of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And yeah, you know, uh, you have these nations, you know, they're preparing for war. They have their nuclear, nuclear capabilities right now. <coughs> and soon, even NATO and these other nations, you know, they're going to ultimately burn America with their nuclear missiles, you know, their nuclear weapons. And those who take that see it, alright, especially Jake, because you're the Lord's people, those who take that see it, you're gonna, you're gonna uh, get killed by those nuclear missiles, alright? You know, this is what the, basically what the wine of the bread of God is basically talking about, you know, which is poured out without mixture into a cup of his indignation. Already right? talking about shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. You know, really speaks about the missiles. All right, they're going to hit this place, so-called uh, America, which is Babylon the Great. Verse eleven: And the smoke of their torment is skinned up forever and ever. They have no rest day nor night. Who worship the beast in his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Yeah, basically that's that. One more precept, Joel 2 and 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, sound the, an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the habitations of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. And how do we know that it's nigh at hand? The day of the Lord that's nigh, nigh at hand. Well, we know it because of the prophecies that are coming to pass, all right? We're hearing of wars, rumors of wars, all right? Earthquakes on the all-time high, pestilences, etc. Verse 2. A day of darkness and you know, gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as in the morning spread upon the mountains a great people and a sh strong. There had not been ever like the, ever like the like, neither shall be any more. After it's even to the years of many generations. Yeah, you know, it's going, the day of the Lord is going to be a day of darkness and gloominess, all right? Because these missiles are going to basically cover up the skies. They're going to cover up, they're going to cover up the skies and they're, they're going to cover up the sun. 
<coughs> ultimately destroying America. And those angels, all right, in their chariots, they're going to burn up the rest of America, all right, when the Lord returns. Well, anyways, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises, honors, and glories to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and Shalom.